Hi, I'm Samaya and you're watching African Diaspora News Channel. Today we're going to be talking about how it's not the black community's job to solve racism. America has profited off the sacrifices of black people before this country was even established into the name of America. Slaves fought the American Revolution against the British playing a big part in the result of actually even winning independence. Once colonies were settled and time passed by, the efforts of slaves who had fought for their country were often even erased. Ever since I can remember in history, there has been unrelenting forces against black people being able to prevail in this country. There is no way that we are allowed to prosper when we have been forced into slavery for generations. And now there's this new form of slavery. The country that we were taken from is constantly at war and now we are at war over here from slave days to segregation to how we live today like it just has never stopped and it's very obvious in America that these things are happening from the laws that are told that our entire race is inferior causing schools to stop children from learning and blowing up churches and organizations to this day, this is still happening. This is all from the past, but this has never this has never ended. They want us to believe that slavery is over, racism is not real, but you can see in the history and in the things that we go through today that slavery is still very relevant. In this country where we were brought to and we worked to build it, why is it our job to tell people that we should be treated better and that black lives matter. The chains that we have been shackled to have evolved and now there's laws against us that stop us from doing simple things like a simple traffic stop can turn into you losing your life or possibly simply sitting in your house playing a video game. You know, you never know with these things and it's sad that this is how America has become. And they look at us and they say, well, we're not racist. We don't, we don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing going on here, but it's very clear that there's a lot of things going on from back in the day when our brothers, were, our brothers and sisters were lynched and kidnapped and all of those things were going on. It's still happening today. It's just happening in another way. And they wanna look at us and tell us that there's no racism in America and we should just get over it. What about all of, all of the sacrifices we've made for this country, all of the things that we went through to be able to live here then we're not even happy. We're not even comfortable in this country. The people that brought us here, the people that put us here in this place, they should be responsible for giving us what we are owed, what we deserve, all the work we have done for this country and there's nothing to show for it. They wanna sit here and say that racism is not a factor and it doesn't play a factor in anything. That's not true. It's every, slavery has always been a part of America. It just turned into something different. Now that now they enslave us in our homes, they enslave us in our communities. They have ways to infiltrate us and they, they do things to our communities that make it hard for us to, to build generational wealth. We can't tell these white people to see things they don't want to see, but black people have no responsibility to make up for the actions that were done to us. White people should be thanking us for building this country and there should be automatic respect for any black person who lives in America because of the sacrifices that we have made for this country to even be here today. These days, black people are lynched in a new way. These supremacist societies have changed their names and they now have new organizations, but that doesn't stop that their general goal is to keep us down. And we're supposed to sit here and act like oh nothing's happening that's not true there's a lot going on and something needs to happen about it we must talk about black lives being significant to this country it's unacceptable that we have to sit here and tell people that black lives do matter and we have to fight about that not a single black person asked to be a slave in america and we have been manipulated into believing that times we have been manipulated into believing that times have changed but racism has only evolved and now it is a system that we live in as far as the justice system you can go to jail for a simple thing you can get a ticket for something simple and if you're a black man you will go to jail for a long period of time just because that's the way the system is set up in America they don't want to see us succeed police officers kill innocent black black men over 
over anything these days. You can be standing on the street, you can be walking across the street for any reason. Black people are being killed in America and it's not okay. And they wanna sit here and tell us that nothing's going on. But there's clearly some racism, there's clearly something happening to us black people and something needs to change about it. We have bled for this country more than any American and I don't understand where the desire to dehumanize black people succeeds the desire for all of us to be prosperous together because that's what this country should have been about. And now that we're sitting here telling you that you should fix this, everybody or all the white people wanna look at us and ask, how is this so? You put us here, you brought us here, you need to do something about it because this is it's gone on too long. And us black people are getting tired and we're not gonna sit here and we're not gonna keep, keep we're not going to keep allowing white people to treat us this way. We're not going to keep allowing this system to oppress us. Something has to be done. The pain we have suffered for years is, is very clear. There's no, you don't have to dig deep to see all of the sacrifices that black people have made for this country. But you don't have to search very hard to find that out. Black people should not die simply because of the color of their skin in a nation that we have tried so hard to support and just prosper in. In America these days, it's, it's hard to be a black person and they wanna tell us that racism has nothing to do with it. But I believe that the white people that brought us to this country, where, where are reparations? Where's the thank you for all of the sacrifices that we made? The thank you that we get is innocent black people dying daily. And that's not a thank you. A thank you would be changing some laws and eradicating some politicians, doing something different for a change. Because the way things happen in America is that everybody pretends that nothing is going on. Everybody wants to act like this is not happening. Nobody died. But that's not true. We live this reality every day. And the white people that control this country, white supremacists, they need to do something about it because we didn't ask to be here. We didn't ask for slavery. We didn't ask for this unjust system that we live in. No matter how hard we try to change the system, it just seems like there's no way to get around it. Some laws need to be changed. Something needs to be fixed because innocent black lives are dying. Innocent black lives have been dying. We've sacrificed too much for this country for white people to sit here and tell us, you know, that our lives are not important. I don't believe it's the black person's responsibility to show a white person all of the oppression that they have put us through. Everything that this country has put a black person through, it's very clear to see. It's history, it's, it's every day we live it. So something needs to be done about it and it's not our job as the black community to fix it. This is African Diaspora, make sure you like, comment and subscribe.